Hello, crafty friends. It's Elisa from Paisley Papyrus again. I am here with installment number two in our Tasteful Library. Um, this is the set that I instructed you that you needed if you were going to participate in our library. And this is one of the sets that is optional. And so no matter what sentiment you pick, it can come from any of the optional sets or even from the original set, um, this card is going to work for you. So for today, I have chosen Life is Better with a Friend Like You. Um, and we are going to go ahead and get started with a nice simple card. All you need is whatever your signature color was, either the Knight of Navy, the early espresso, or the basic gray. Um, personally, again, I prefer Knight of Navy, but that's what we're going to use to get started on this card, okay? That's the only ink that you will need today. So we're going to take out our card and our envelope. I have it set aside so that I know exactly how many you have left in your pack if you're making along with me. Um, and we are going to find our score and we're going to fold it over and crease it along the line. And I'm going to use my bone folder. If you bought one of those, you probably should too. Um, so there is our card and our envelope ready to go. Set that aside. Now I have a piece of scrap. Um, very vanilla. It is approximately seven eighths of an inch. Yes. So just a little under um, our, just a little under an inch. So what we're going to do with this is we are going to take out our um, ink and we have right here on, let's see, what did I just do with the ink pad? I mean the stamp set. Okay, so we're gonna use Life is Better with a Friend Like You, which is long, and it's longer than the width of the D block that I told you to buy. So if you turn it on its side, it will fit, but that makes it a little trickier to um, stamp. So we're going to take it and ink it up. And just to make sure I have a good feeling for whether it's straight, that's pretty straight, okay. I'm gonna ink it up again, and I'm gonna take it to the paper and because I want to make sure I place it correctly, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna have the piece of paper lined up next to it, and then I'm gonna put it kind of more towards this end of my scrap piece of paper, okay? And I'm gonna stamp it right there in the middle, okay? Perfect, ah, I'm so pleased. I love it when a good thing comes together. Okay, now I'm gonna set that aside for a second, and then I'm going, we know that our card base is five inches across. I don't know why my light is flickering. I apologize. Um, so we're going to bring in our trimmer over here and we are going to cut this at five inches. We want, oops. Okay. So what we're going to do, because I went over a little too far, we're going to cut it right there. Okay. Take, set that aside. We're going to flip it around and make sure that the length of it is five inches so that it fits perfectly on the front of our card. Okay, there you go. That is ready to go. Our next step is I'm going to take that off and just set it aside. I'll clean it later. You don't need to watch me clean it. We are going to make sure that this fits where we want it on our set. And then I'm gonna bring in my handy dandy post-it note and I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, and then we're going to take the foliage, which I guess it's ferns, I don't know, foliage, um, from the stamp set, and we are going to ink that up, and we're going to take it and put it right there, and then we're going to take it again and bring it right about there, uh, you know, yeah, right there. And then we're going to bring, lift up your post-it note and voila. Then we're going to put that about where we want it. And we're going to take our post-it note and put it back. And we're going to, oops, I smeared it. Oh dear. Be careful not to do that. We're going to take it down here and have our foliage going this way. Now what that does is it prevents the bottom of your foliage from potentially coming out from underneath of your sentiment strip, okay? So now our sentiment strip is gonna go across just like that, but that looks a little plain, and I think that looks a little, I don't know, less than noteworthy. So we're going to take, this is the coolest trick for if you don't have paper to go with your sentiment, and we're just gonna drag the edge of our 
straight edge across our ink pad to give it a little color around the edge, okay? Perfect. Now my ink pad is really juicy, as you saw, so I'm gonna be very careful not to get my fingers in the ink. And I drag down like that and check. And then drag down and check. Drag down and check. I want a little more ink over here on this corner and it's not giving it to me. All right, that looks pretty good. And then, oh, we have one more thing to stamp. I'm sorry, I forgot. Now I'm gonna set that aside and cause it's, like I said, super juicy. So we're gonna set that aside and let it dry. I'm gonna move that up there. Now, I know I told you all to get D blocks. I happen to have this mounted on a different block just for the speed of the video. I'm bringing in a scrap pieces, piece of my very vanilla cardstock and I'm going to take my flower here and I'm going to stamp it straight down and straight up. Perfect, looks great. I'm gonna set that aside and then give it a quick blow on it. I'm gonna take my precision scissors, cut that straight across, and then I am going to just fussy cut around those leaves. It is so fast and so easy. I am not gonna do it for you on camera completely, but that is how you do it. Now, when you're cutting with a fussy cut, you wanna keep your scissors straight. See how I'm keeping my scissors straight? And then I'm turning the piece of paper as I go. Okay, so that's how you're gonna fussy cut around it. But for the speed of the video, I have already done that for you, okay? I'm gonna close that ink pad up so that I don't stick my fingers in it. I'm gonna make sure that I wipe that off. And then we are gonna bring in our green glue because you know I love green glue. And I am going to flip this guy over, put a little bit of green glue on each end and a slight slide down the middle, put him back in there and flip him over, line him up on either side of my card and you have this beautiful sentiment in the middle of your card. And remember where I smeared the ink right there in the middle? You can't even see it, all right? So we've got that. Our next item that we're going to do is bring in our Stampin' Dimensionals. We're gonna flip that guy over and put him here and put him up here and three dimensionals, boom, boom, and boom. We're gonna take him and put him right, well, hmm, let's go, hmm, how do we wanna do it? You know what? I'm not sure I like that. Oh, I don't think I like it. Okay, I'm gonna set it aside. We're gonna get out our ribbon because I don't actually like that. Wow, we're gonna put a bow right there, okay? So we're gonna take out our ribbon. I'm going to, I think I showed you how to do this last time. And if I have to change my mind sometimes and it's okay to stamp something and then decide you don't like it. Set it aside and you can use it for your next project because you know we'll be making more. Okay, so I got that guy pulled down, got that guy pulled down, a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, and then we're gonna pull tight, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna snip the edge of him, just like that, and we are going to put him right there, okay? So I'm going to take, let's see, which side of the ribbon do we want? Let's go this side. Put a little dollop right there of glue, twist him the way I want him, set him right there inside of it, push it for a second, and then set it aside and let it dry. And there is your beautiful card. Now, uh, let's get out our gems and see if we wanna add any gems to this guy. I am going to use my needle nose tweezers that I've told you that I love. And let's see if we like, whoops, he just popped right off. He was hopping. Oh, do we like that? I think I like it down here. Oh yeah, there, he's going there. And this medium size one, whoop, is jumping too. And we're gonna put him right there. And then we're gonna take a little guy whoop, and put him right in here, so it's kind of a flow kind of thing. 
put him right there. Voila, you have a beautiful card to send to a friend. Now, the other thing we want to have no naked envelopes stick around to the end because I have other um, ideas to show you with the same idea. Okay, so we're going to take this guy right here. I just stuck my finger in my ink. So I'm going to wipe that off over here on the paper. We're going to move this guy up here and flip our envelope over because our envelopes should be pretty too. And there you go. You have a matching envelope to go with your beautiful card. All right, let me move this guy off the table so he is out of your sight and you don't have to. So this is the one that we made today. And then these are two that I made to show you. Ah, I got ink on it whenever I was moving it off the camera. Gotta be careful about that. So this is from the original set, The Good Things in Life Are Better With You. And this is from the original set plus a different uh, set that I put in that original video of things you might want to buy. So there are your three cards. It's the same idea with all three cards. These two didn't need the post-it note because the stamps are small enough to be hidden behind the um, sentiment. But there you go. There are your cards. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.